Hello, I'm going to show you a bit about the Cat Asset C175 diesel. It's a 16 cylinder engine. Um, the cameraman's going to uh, pan round in a minute and uh, we'll take you through all the, uh, the various bits. Uh, 90 degree V16 formation, uh, quad turbo, 2.4 megawatt prime rated uh, diesel. Um, you can see we've got individual valve covers, individual cylinder heads on top here. If you can see that on the camera, four turbos on the top, and I'll try and walk you through the uh, the air induction system on this engine, um, just so it makes sense. Four air filters up top, going into the air side of the turbo, and down through a charge air cooler. It's water cooled. Air then comes along this plenum along here and is presented along this bank of the engine, it's the same on the other side. So cold air goes in, gets combusted, exhaust out the top, back through the turbos and out. These are the biggest engines we've got on site and in a minute we'll start one up so you can hear what it sounds like. start of a cat c175 diesel not on load <laughs> back with the C175. Um, just thought I'd walk through some of the uh, key parts of the engine. Um, if you're an AP on a site and you want to isolate your diesel engine, these modern cats they've got a battery isolator built in so you don't have to uh, do what they tell you on the course which is remove the uh, tails from the starter batteries which are here. It's pretty good you can padlock it and that is a effective form of isolation to take this engine out of service indefinitely. Um, walking around the engine obviously we've got the alternator here um, and the day tank in the corner here. It's a 2000 litre day tank, doesn't really last a day, it probably lasts about four hours at full load um, and you can see the various uh, connections to it. We've got incoming fuel with a Kingsway valve or drop weight valve, that's for fire safety and you can see the bowed in cable there which uh, runs up to a fusible link above the four turbos shown in the previous video. Valve which lets fuel in, uh, OLE tank controller which brings on the pumps downstairs and shows you the contents, overflow and dump lines and return. We've got the two flow and return fuel lines that run up to the engine itself. Bank of three fuel filters 
and don't be confused by these, these are also fuel filters. You might be wondering where the oil filters are on this engine and if you're not familiar with the C175, they're actually behind this cover plate here, which uh, you might find a little bit confusing if you've not worked on these before. This particular machine, to cope with the high ambient temperatures we have on this roof, doesn't have a shaft driven fan on the front. We've got remote cooling by way of a blast cooler on the roof and these stainless steel hard lines join it up. Uh, standard fashion air path over the engine and out. And you can see the fans in the, uh, in the firewall here. Two means of escape and changeover system for lighting and small power. These machines are 11 kV machines, so we've actually got a auxiliary transformer behind this section here to run all the container power when the mains is off. 